So grace notes are a way to decorate the melody. You play these preceding short notes, usually a half step below. And you can do this to any melody. So most common of all is just to play a half step below. So say we're targeting D, I'm just going to play a C sharp, which immediately resolves to the D. And it doesn't have to be written in the song, of course. You can add these to any note. Just practice targeting it with a half step below. Then for a more modern sound, you can use a whole step below. So if we're targeting D, the ninth, we can do a whole step below. This is more of a modern sound. You hear this a lot in R and B. It's a more dissonant grace note, where you have a whole step below. You can try this for any note. Like this. So there. I again preceded the D with a whole step below. And this would be a good way to practice these grace notes, is just to play through a jazz song that you know, and to just practice preceding the melody notes with a half step below to begin with. And then do the same thing, but with the whole step below. Now you'll even hear cocktail pianists use two grace notes. So say we're proceeding this B flat here, you could play like this, so two half steps below. So that can be effective. So there I was on an E. Again, there I targeted this G, two half steps below. And sometimes you'll even hear pianists play three preceding grace notes. So if we're targeting B flat, they could play three, like this. This becomes slightly more technically difficult depending where you are in the scale. Some notes is going to be a bit too tricky to play, but you also have this option if you feel like playing three grace notes and being extra flashy, you can do that as well. So there I got three in, targeting G. Now to go with this lesson, I'm giving away my 29 Jazz Licks sheet music. This is five pages of my best licks, and to download it for free, just click on the link below.